people welcome back to my channel uh yeah we're gonna uh, look at a game guys that i'm uh, very late to the race for very yeah very late yeah because i've heard about it for years uh josh has been uh, saying to me i should play it for years so finally i'm going to actually sit down with josh who is the master of this game maybe maybe and he's going to teach me, basically, or show me how to play this fantastic game. Now, the, the history of it is, it was, uh, as Josh talks about in the video, actually, um, about how it started its life off on Kickstarter. And it was a very, very successful Kickstarter. Uh, you know, many, many times we've heard, you know, uh, Kickstarters that uh, were very unsuccessful or even just turned into vaporware. But this one was um, a bit like the Uyari, actually achieved more than it was uh, initially setting out to achieve and yet yeah, and it became a real thing has been brought out on uh, physical as well uh, as downloads uh, this is on the ps beta and what is it Josh? undertale it's undertale yeah uh, i can't be sure that one <laughs> yeah it's probably going to go and go all all uh, yeah, let's have a look see if we can get it to focus a bit yeah, better undertale. there we go yeah so Undertale on the PS Vita, guys. Mm -hmm. uh, as I say, it's a doozy of a game. It did very, very well on Kickstarter. And, of course, uh, the PS Vita. Hmm, how will it run on there? I mean, it's a very powerful little handheld. So I can't see it being a problem, as it's very, very retro looking, isn't it? It's yeah. uh, The graphics are uh, what I would call similar to the, the NES, really. Um, mm. But, yeah. As Josh will tell you in the video, it's very far from that in reality. So yes, guys, will you join us as we hook the uh, Vita up to the PC and then to the TV using the hack? And uh, we look at Undertale, and for me, the first time looking at Undertale, because I've never even started it and played it. Yep. Sad. Really sad. So yes, guys, please join us. We'll see you again in a minute as he plays it. Yeah, see you then. Right, you lovely people, here we go. As we take a look at Undertale on the PS Vita. I have never played this game to my shame. And Josh is going to teach me how. So yeah. the majority of the talking on this video will be Josh with me asking the really stupid questions, probably. <laughs> so, right, here we go, Josh. Mm -hmm. Right. So, do, what do you actually think of the Vita version? Have you played it before? Uh, not much, but I have played it a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty accurate. But It's an RPG? Yeah, pretty much. Best way I can explain it. You know, it's one of these games I've heard about all these years guys and I've never never played it mm. in, like... in the intro here she's talking about how the humans and the monsters had like a, a battle yeah. a war but then the monsters got like locked underground locked yeah. underground oh, right. and like the humans stayed above the ground yeah once again guys the audio on this will be just coming out of the Vita itself unfortunately mm. Then this kid here, this kid um, falls down the mountain, which leads to like the underground. Ah, uh, right. so he literally falls underground. And yeah, that's why it's called Undertale. Yeah. So is this an indie game originally, or? Yeah, it is because it was on Kickstarter. Mm. Of like, I don't remember how much they were asking. How much the guy who made it was asking, but he got like way more than he was expecting. Yeah, so it was a very successful Kickstarter. Yeah, it's always nice when they when they work out and they, you know something actually surfaces from it, mm. not vaporware. There's a menu, was it? Yeah. Yeah, and uh, 
after it got released on the PC, that's when they ported it to the PS Vita and the PS4. And then I think it's also on the Switch, and one of the main characters from it is like, is actually in Smash Bros. in the DLC. Oh, right, cool. Yeah. yeah. And also you can't change your name after you've entered it, so I'll call my character after you. Yeah. Because otherwise it won't let me change. Yeah. That is why I'm blind. So yeah, this is who you play as. Okay. Person who fell down. Yeah. So you've fallen down at this point, then. Yeah, you've fallen yeah. down the mountain to the underground where the monsters are. And this is Flowey. Oh yeah. Or is that like a guy or something? Uh. Well, he introduces you to the game, but he's not your guide. Mm. There's someone else after this that guides you around. And this is like how you battle. So you have this little heart and they fire attacks at you and you have to dodge it with the heart. Mm -hmm. And then at the bottom, usually there's like attack, which lets you attack. There's a button called act, which lets you like talk to them and not uh, hurt them to try yeah. and defeat the battle. There's items, you can heal yourself. And then there's mercy where you can like spare them. Right. But they aren't here because this is like, he's teaching you how to do it. Yeah. So yeah, that's your soul, the heart. It's proper like old style, isn't it? It's like, yeah. a, like a retro theme to it. Yeah. But really like something you'd see on the uh, NES or something. Mm, it's a, a lot more advanced now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's just the graphics. Yeah. yeah. I'd say the NES, but they're uh, probably more like the NES graphics wise. Mm. Mm. Friendliness pellets. Yeah. So look, if you take them. Yeah. Those are not friendliness pellets. Oh dear. So they tricked you. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm gonna die. It's gonna kill me. Oh dear. So you're dead in the game? No. Oh right. She's your guide and she's right. the one who saves you from him. She saved you. Oh, yeah. Right, okay. I thought you were gonna die then. <laughs> like, yeah. a, like a zombie. Yeah. She like takes you around the main area. Yeah. Right, I'm just gonna turn it off guys. That's as max as we're gonna get, isn't it? Yeah. Oh wow. But anyway. Now we have to follow her. Yeah. And she'll take us through the ruins, which is like the first starting area. And then the little stars on the ground that you save. Yeah. Very uh, relaxing music. Yeah, it has good music. Yeah, there's lots of puzzles as well. Mm. So what kind of elements are there? Obviously RPG. Yeah. Um, Puzzle. Exploration, I guess. Because yeah. you do like exploring the later levels. Is it almost like a dungeon crawler or? Uh, I suppose it could be considered one of those. Yeah. Hmm. Here's a puzzle, yeah. but it's not a very good one. Because you have to flick the correct switches. Yeah. But she labelled the switches, the ones oh, that you have to flick. It was nice and easy. Huh. Yeah. Because um, this one that she didn't label, it doesn't even work. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. And this is uh, where you get taught about like fighting and that. Yeah. Because you have to, um, well, she wants you to talk to the dummy. She wants you to strike up a friendly conversation yeah. and she'll save you. So here, this is a good oh, opportunity right. to show. Yeah. You can fight, so uh -huh. unless you like hit them. Yeah. You can act, so you can talk to it or check its stats, like how much attack and defense it has and yeah. like a little description about it. You can use items, but I don't have yeah. any. Which you use, and then you can use mercy, so you can spare it all. Run oh, away. so spare it all, yeah, with mercy. Right. So she wants me to talk to it, yeah, but I can fight it if I want to. And what yeah. you have to do is you have to try and hit the bar in the middle by pressing yeah. X to do like the most damage. Yeah, so like, it's uh, a timed thingy. You didn't earn any XP or anything? Yeah. No, because it was just a dummy. Yeah, 
I didn't earn any XP or gold. Uh -huh, as long as I'm not for fighting, they are for talking. <laughs> naughty, naughty. I'm sorry. We do not want to hurt anybody. Do we? Mm. Another puzzle. But. Here we go. An actual fight. So I can compliment or threat this guy, or I can just yeah. kill him. But I'll threaten him. Yeah. Didn't understand what I said, but was scared anyway. <laughs> and she comes in, yeah. makes him go away. And that's it, he's gone. Yeah. You won. Yeah. So this is the puzzle that she was talking about. Yeah. But she just takes you through it anyway. It's kind of just getting you familiar with the game, isn't it, this part? Yeah, because mm. her name is Toriel, which is supposed to sound like Tutorial. Tutorial, yeah. yeah. Uh, I have a difficult request to ask of you. Mm. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Oh no, forgive me for this. <laughs> she runs off. Yeah, let's leave you to it. Yeah. How am I going to make it to the end? Oh no! You've got so many there. enemies. How are you going to make it? Mm. <laughs> I don't think I can do yeah. it. So does it? Um, you know, obviously you played it on other systems. Does it look identical? Yeah, it does. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah, there's no graphical glitches, no. nothing like that. What what system? Other systems have you played it on? Um. Just the PC to be honest. Just the PC. Which is where yeah. it was originally on. Because it is on there uh, under the like, PS4 and everything. Isn't yeah, it? PS4. Which is hiding behind. Is it on the Xbox One? I don't think so. Hmm. I'm not sure though. There she is. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it was on the Xbox, but I'm not sure. So we're not uh <laughs> yeah, we're not uh, saying that for hundred percent there guys, mm -hmm. but yeah. There was like special editions for the PlayStation. Yeah. For PS Vita and Switch ones as well, which had like <clears throat> special stuff like artwork, mm. I think. But and so has, like. has there never ever been a physical release? So yeah, the physical because they had it as like a download on the PS Vita, PS Four, and Switch. Yeah. I think because I know it's a hundred percent download on the Switch, but then they also had the physical ones, which were the special edition ones, right? Which had like the special stuff. Yeah. Here she gives you a phone. So she can call you, you can call her. Because yeah. she has to go and get like, she has to go and do an errand, she says. Right. And tells us not to leave this room, otherwise we'll get hurt. So, yeah. I'm going to leave. And straight away, you have not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles I had that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try and solve them myself. Well, I guess it's too late, I've already left. <laughs> Here's some <clears throat> candy. Yeah. Take one. What's this? Some candy. You oh, can use candy. it in battle yeah. to heal you. Oh, uh, right. I was going to say, does it give you like, extra life or something? Yeah. And then, take one. I've already taken a candy. Yeah. I'll take another. I took more candy. How disgusting. How oh, disgusting. What, because you took more? Yeah, take yeah. a candy. Yes. <laughs> you take another piece, you feel like the scum of the earth. <laughs> take one. Take another candy. You took it too much too fast. The candy spills onto the floor. Oh, look what you've done. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, let's talk to this guy. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please use some mercy. Oh, you've got to be merciful. Maybe. And save again. Oh, that's what you saved, is it? Yeah, the little stars. The little stars, see. yeah. Right, this guy you can just spare straight away because he's, yeah. he's weak. I'll spare him. I'll be nice. I'm going to beat up the next person I see. The whole walking around then on this game, always, always in any other game, it reminds me of Pokemon in a sense. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to kill this guy. So you have to like dodge their attacks if you don't kill them straight away. Oh, right, yeah. And they all have different attacks. That's just from yeah. this one. Because he's a frog. Frogs yeah. eat flies, you have to avoid the flies. You have to avoid the flies. But they usually have multiple attacks, which I think this guy yeah. does. He's just not using them. Yeah. <clears throat> Three XP and two golds. 
So I suppose that the beauty in this game is the simplicity of it in the first place, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I guess. Although, you say that, but... I guess how? Behind the scenes, it's, re- it's really, really complex. Yeah. And, like, the last boss battles are really hard as well. Yeah. But the main game is sim- simple. Yeah. So it's sim- cinnamon or butterscotch, which do I prefer? Mm. What do you prefer? Uh... I've never had butterscotch, I don't think, so yeah. it's cinnamon. Go for cinnamon, yeah. Yep. Butterscotch is lovely. Mm. And then she asks if I don't dislike butterscotch. <laughs> the humour in it is pretty, uh, pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Makes you wonder what, how he marketed it on Kickstarter, doesn't it? Um, what yeah. kind of Kickstarter videos? I've never seen anything. Related to the Kickstarter, be interesting yeah. to see how we get, how, you know, how we garnered so many people to be interested in it. Yeah, I threatened this guy, and he tried to jump at me, and now I can spare him. Because if his name turns yellow, that means you can spare him. And I can spare mm. him because I threatened him. Oh yeah, you won. What's this sign say? Three out of four grey rocks recommend you push them. Oh, yeah, push right, okay. He's fine with it. Yeah. And here is like a. A path thing where like if you walk on the wrong bit you'll fall down yeah <clears throat> i know the path because i played it so many times but if you don't know the path oh right yeah then yeah, it has yeah, it like yeah. here you have to avoid where the leaves are up above yeah. so you have to go like this path this is like a maze almost yeah, yeah go away yeah because yeah, there's multiple froggets yeah, right. Quite a lot coming there, aren't they? Yeah. Where you going? Yep. For XP2 gold. Yeah. Yeah. That that pathway that's marked out down there, you have to follow it. Yeah. But I know it off by heart. Uh... So you're safe to turn on those waves. Mm. Push this one. Yeah. Another frog yet. Oh, and a wind zone. I'll threaten froggets and I can just spare them straight away. Yeah. I'm scared anyway. But then they can both attack at the same time because there's two of them. Ah, right. And that's yeah. what that circle was. That was Wimsome attacking yeah. me. Goodbye. Push this rock. Because you have to push all the rocks onto the switches to make yeah. spikes pop up. And this rock doesn't want you to push it around. Hmm. Not asking me to move over. Okay, just for you, pumpkin. Move more. You want to move some more? Alrighty, how's this? Wrong way. Hmm, that was the wrong direction. Okay, I think I got it. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that's funny. So you want the spikes to come off? No, I want the spikes to go down. Ah, I was but the say. rock moved off yeah. the switch. Yeah, decided to move. You yeah. want me to stay there? You're giving me a real workout. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so, you're in the mouse, mate. Yeah. One day leave its hole and get the cheese. It fills you with determination. Makes a squeaky noise. Yeah. This cheese has been here quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. Nice. Oh, here's the ghost. An upster book. Have they gone yet? Z, 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 Z. This ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to be asleep. <laughs> pretending. Is it force? Yes. Alright, I won't beat this guy up because I like him. I'll cheer him on. He's crying at me. You gotta avoid his tears. Yeah. Cheer. <laughs> really not <laughs> feeling up to it right now, sorry. <laughs> Hear him again. He wants to show you something. I call it another one. Just gave himself a hat. Huh, <laughs> nice. Yes, I like it. Cheer. I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around, but today I met somebody nice. <laughs> I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. Thank you. So sometimes when you're nice to the enemy, you say, Give you what you want, though. Yeah. yeah, and then you can also just beat them up and kill them. Yeah. 
<clears throat> spider bake sale. All proceeds go to real spiders. Oh, nice. Nice web. Seven gold in the web. Uh, sure, I have eight, so I'll give you some. Some yeah. spiders crawled down and gave you a donut. Oh, nice. And then here, if you leave 18 gold, yeah. then they give you something else that like, yeah. gives you more health. And then yeah, you need to... right, yeah. I don't have that amount of money. Yeah. There's some more then. Hmm. My friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing circle. That's right, pressing circle. I <laughs> don't need to. Yeah. I heard using borders can add some colour to the world. It seems you can choose them in the settings when you... Oh, you can't do that on the PC version, I don't you think. Can't, huh? You can't add borders. Oh. Yeah. There isn't a frog-themed border, so it's just pointless. Mm. Yeah, I can't do that now because I've already started. You have to yeah. do it before you start the game. I heard you were quite nice for Sure, you know by now a monster wears a yellow name and you can spare it. Very helpful. Maybe one day we're going to have to do it if their name isn't yellow. Because, <clears throat> yeah, because when the name is yellow, you can spare them. Maybe one yeah. day we'll have to do it even if the name isn't. Yep. But this frog that tells you about borders, in the PC version, it just tells you that pressing F4 on the keyboard makes the game full screen. Right. But here he says about borders. Yeah. Since you can't make it full screen on the PSVR, because it yeah. already is. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying around here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like. You'll want to leave room in your pockets for that. Goodbye. Oh. Luke's. Oh, this guy. You can pick on him, or don't pick on him. Yeah. Usually not picking on him is better. Because yeah. after this you can just spare him. Yay, five gold. Yeah. And here, here is a puzzle. You have to like pick the right one that has the switch to open the spikes over here. Ah, right. Another oh, one. I'm just going to start killing them now because if you kill them, they'll disappear. Yeah. Because they're dead. How did I ever? Whatever. I was going to say how did I ever beat the massive boss, but I don't want to spoil it for anyone. Yeah. Because I'm doing so bad, and he's like one of the enemies in the tutorial section. Yeah. Yeah, considering you complete it. Yeah. Oh, I leveled up. That's what that sound effect was. Oh, right. But <clears throat> down here, you can get a piece of gear. No, oh, right, so it's worth going down there. Oh, anyway. wrong one. This is where Vegetoid is, and Vegetoid uh -huh. is hard to defeat, so I'm not yeah. going to try him. Well, it's not hard to defeat later on. Go away. I don't mean to pick on him. I was trying to not pick on him so I could oh, spare him. Oh, more than that. Jeez. Because yeah. I picked on him, he's being more mean. Yeah. Oh, yeah. right, so if you pick on them, they actually attack you more. Yeah. So, like, if you be mean to them, they attack you more. And yeah. if you don't be mean to them, they attack you less. But here it is, the ribbon. Yeah. It gives you more defence when you equip it. Faded ribbon, please. And now... There, um, defense zero, and then in the brackets, that's like mm -hmm. the brackets is how much armor you've added. Right, you've added okay. to defense. Yeah. And then I think it's down here that the switch is. Oh, there it is. Yeah. So I can just carry on. And here, you have to flick the right switch. This one's already done there. Oh, uh, right. Yeah. So this one you've got to do the right switch now. Yeah, you have to yeah. flip the right switch. Because you know which switch it is already. Yeah, alright. I believe if you spare that guy first, mm -hmm. then this guy doesn't want to hurt you. He just dances. Uh, right, and then you okay. can spare him after. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. he doesn't dance if there's another enemy. Uh, right. But the switch is behind the pillar. Yeah. Oh, uh, right. So it's not one of the obvious ones. Mm. See, like it says on the sign, if you can read this, press the blue switch. And there was no blue switch that was behind the pillar. Yeah. And here, if you can read this, press the red switch. Because oh, a lot of people skip those signs. Yeah. So they made it really obvious by writing it on the sign. Yeah. I already know the switches, I'm just showing it. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah. Yeah, so it shows you they got to pay attention to all the signs and whatever. Yeah. It helps you uh, progress. Yeah, it does help a bit. And this one, both the switches are hidden. Which one is it? Right, I think yeah. it's this one. 
Yes. Because if you get the wrong one, then you fall down into a pit and you have to go back. Right. <sighs> go on, then, again. Ah, well, it's death. Looks like, uh, what do you call them, monsters in? <laughs> yeah, that's what Mike. I thought. Yeah. Mike Wazowski. Yeah. I always forget what's down here. Oh yes, the toy knife. Toy knife? Yeah, it gives you more attack when you cook it. Mm. Even though it's only a toy. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't want to spoil too much, but later you can get a real knife if you do some specific tasks. Right. That's all I'm gonna say. That took longer than I thought it would. And she tries to ring you. <laughs> she yeah. notices you're yeah. How'd you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there. I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. And there's the house. Mm, I see. Mm -hmm. I suppose after I've done this boss fight, uh, yeah. I don't know how long, how much longer that's going. But she made a butterscotch cinnamon pie. Oh, butterscotch mm -hmm. cinnamon pie. So you got to try it now. Uh, in a minute. Yeah. I'll hold off on snail pie for tonight. <laughs> I have another surprise for you. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. <laughs> Very cute. Is something burning? Make yourself at home. Sounds like she's adopted you. Mm -hmm. And then she puts the but I've got cinnamon pie oh, yeah. down while you're sleeping. You it. I don't want to eat it yet though, because it gives you a lot of health. Oh, does it? I think it's maximum. Ah, right. It just restores all your health. Yeah. So I don't want to eat it yet. And there she is. Yeah. In the kitchen. There is some light first stuck in the drain. Oh, nice. <laughs> For some reason, there's a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. A brand name. Size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. The stove top is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic. Alright, I'm gonna talk to her. Up already, I see. I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favourite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. So they come as a surprise to you. But I've always wanted to be a teacher. <laughs> Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Uh, Still, I'm glad to have you living here. Did you want something? What is it? When can I go home? What? This this is your home now. Yeah. Would you like to hear about this book I'm reading? It's called 72 Uses for Snails. Uh, How about it? Uh, uh, How to exit the ruins. How about an exciting snail fact? Did you know that snails have a chainsaw-like tongue called a radula? I swear I got a different one than I played. Yeah. I think she has multiple snail packs. Uh, How to exit the ruins. I have something to do. Stay here. Uh, Where is she going? You know, oh, are you following her? Yeah, she goes down the basement. Oh, uh, right. Because the basement is how you leave the house. Yeah. To go to the rest of the game. Yeah. <clears throat> you wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. <clears throat> I'm, I'm going to destroy, to destroy it. it. Mm. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. No. Mm. So basically she's trying to hold you captive. Yeah. But there's a, there's a reason. Yeah. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, as gore, will kill you. I'm only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. So that's why then. Yeah, she doesn't want Asgore to kill you. Yeah. Because Asgore is like the king. I don't want to spoil anymore. You want to leave so badly. You are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Now you have to fight her. Right, do you? Right, so you have to fight your friend. <laughs> yeah, just to escape. But... <clears throat> Fighting takes forever, so I'm just going to spare her. Because yeah. you can do that. Because if you talk to her twice, I think it reduces her attack, and then yeah. you can just keep sparing her. Right, okay. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah, for a lot there, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, talk again. Had to bring something to say then, but. Um, and I want to spare her. This is what the guy with the frog was talking about earlier. You have what? to spare someone even if their name isn't yellow. Yeah. Because I don't want to kill her. She's acting aloof. See the, the dots that she's yeah. saying are getting longer and longer. Yeah. yeah. Question mark, that's her. Oh, you got no chance there, really. Yeah. Mm. What are you doing? Uh, well, it's quite hard, isn't it? I bet. Yeah. Oh. To avoid them all. Mm. Mm. What are you proving this way? Fight me or leave. Oh. Keep getting hit. Stop it. Oh, no. Stop looking at me that way. What a simple battle system, but it's uh, very uh, intriguing. Yeah. And quite That's hard. Good. That's good. Yeah. How many lives do you get? Or is it um, like... You just game over as soon as you lose all your health. Right. And then go back to your last place where you say, yeah. Look at this. She doesn't want to hurt me. Yeah. Oh, uh, right, yeah. Once you get to too low health, she just doesn't hurt you. Yeah. See? Yeah. It's all go around you. I know you want to go home, but please go upstairs now. I promise I'll take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but we can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please go upstairs. Haha. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I'll put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. And she hugs us. It's very cute. You can't come back, huh? Maybe she doesn't want you to come back. Yeah. Goodbye. And there's the long corridor. So you gotta walk down to the long corridor. Yeah. To get to the rest of it. <clears throat> to get outside the ruins. Yeah. Outside the tutorial area. And this is where the demo ends as well, because there's yeah. a demo for PC, and that's where it ends. Clever, very clever. Oh, this is the flower from the beginning, remember? Oh, that's nasty, really. Yeah. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed, so you are able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. Hee <laughs> hee. Frog it, Wimsum, Vegetoid, Luke's, Migos, Modsmore. Think about those names. Those are the monsters that I killed earlier. Do you think any of those monsters have families? Do you think any of them have friends? Each one could have been someone else's, Toriel. Selfish brat. Somebody is dead because of you now. You do. Goodbye. So this is where the proper game starts now, if you like. Yeah. Yeah. That's where you leave the ruins. Right. Yeah. Ah. Uh -huh. Well, right. By Toby Fox. Yeah, that's the guy who made it. Right, so now you're in the... In the forest. In the forest, yeah. There's a camera hidden in the bushes. Ah, like a forest cam. <laughs> mm. yeah, this part's a bit creepy. Is it? Because yeah. you walk over the branch. Yeah. And then it snaps behind mm. you. Did you see that guy then? No. Oh, there's a guy in the corner. And then oh, was that? Yeah. Oh, right. He's like watching you. Yeah. 
Uh, br br yeah, bridge. Oh yeah. We talk to him first then. Yeah. Human. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. Should you do that? Then? I take it he's not good. Yeah, he's a skeleton. Ah, right. <laughs> the old whoopee cushion in the hand stroke. It's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. And my brother Papyrus. I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah. He's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate for me. Yeah, go right through it. My brother, my brother made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Huh. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. Conveniently shaped lamp. <laughs> yeah, just a bit, eh? Mm. Sup, bro. You know what? Sup, brother. It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Do you want to look? No, I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. And I, the great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect, recognition. I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard. People will ask to be my friend. I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. <laughs> hmm, maybe this lamp will help you. Sans, you are not helping you lazy bones. All mm. you do is sit and boondoggle. Boondoggle. You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've got a ton of work done today. A skeleton. <laughs> Sans. A skeleton. Come on, you're smiling. I am and I hate it. Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're already working yourself down to the bone. Huh. Oh, he's right, comedian, eh? Mm. I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. Nya ha 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 ha. Hmm. Oh, Hair. Oh, there's another hair. Okay, you can come out now. Hello. Hmm. You ought to get going. You might come back. And if he does... You'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. <laughs> Actually, I hate to bother you, but can you do me a favour? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous, <laughs> even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. I'll be up ahead, he walks that way. Does he? Oh, all right, yeah. But look, yeah. you safe her. Yeah. Convenience of that still falls your determination. In here? Yes. Tough glove. Uh, oh, right. Right. Old gear in here. So it's where you can store stuff, is it? Yeah. And uh, oh, gee. And the box reappears like around the place so you can yeah. take your stuff back out. Yeah. But I'll put the glove because it's really useful. Yeah. Because it lets you hit like four times in one go in battle. Oh, uh, right. It's useful. And I'll put the toy knife back in to have more space for food. Yeah. And up here, I think, is the fishing rod once this guy goes away. Oh, another enemy. A new one. Yeah. See, I have to spam X and then it does like more damage yeah. after I've hit him because of the tough glove. Yeah. Okay, oh, hey. up. Yep. And up here is a fishing rod. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> it's a fishing rod fixed to the ground. Reel it in. Yes. All that's attached to the end is a photo of a weird looking monster. Mm. Call me, here's my number. Yeah. You decide not to call. Not to call, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's fun. Mm. And look, here's Sam's oh, again, yeah. even though he walks that way. Yeah. To the left. No, he's here. So, as I was saying about Undying. That's another character. Yeah, alright. Ah, I spotted you now. Mm. 
Oh, we've done this. Sounds, oh my god, is that a human? Uh, actually, I think that's a rock. Oh. oh. <laughs> hey, what's that in front of a rock? Oh my god, is that a human? Yes. Oh my god, I finally did it. Popular. Human, you shall not pass this area. I, the great Papyrus, will stop you. I will capture you. You'll be delivered to the capital. Then, then, I'm not sure what's next. In any case, continue, only if you dare. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that went well. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. An eye socket? Huh. Mm. <clears throat> Oh, oh, nice cap. Anyway. I hate yeah. ice cap. Are you quite hard to do or? Huh? Oh, it's a bit, bit of a different puzzle that one, isn't it? Yeah. I could have spared ice cap then. Yeah. But no, I'm not going to. Yeah. I need to level up. Who's this guy? Did something move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. Mm. Something was moving, for example, a human. I'll make sure it never moves again. So this guy, I'll try and pet him because I don't want to kill him. He's too suspicious of your movements. Mm. Don't move an inch. But look, if you don't move, you don't get hit. Oh, right, if, okay. if you get attacked and the attack is blue, yeah. if you stay still, then it doesn't hurt you. Right. So I'll pet him again. You pet Doggo. But like later on, mm. they they mix normal attacks and blue attacks. So you yeah. have to like stand, stay still and try not uh, to get right. hit by the normal attacks yeah. while you're staying still to not get hit by like the blue ones. Yeah. yeah. And it gets like really confusing, but fun. Mm. So pet me, something that isn't moving. I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. Mm -hmm. Someone's been smoking dog treats. Someone's been smoking dog treats. <laughs> There's something important to remember. Here you go. My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move and it won't hurt you. Mm. Here's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Mm. Stop signs are red, so imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple. When fighting, think about blue stop signs. Oh, well. Yeah. Oh, not here is the snowman. Should we go to the snowman and then call it a day? Because we're getting into 40 minutes. Hello, I am a snowman. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you'd be so kind, traveller, please take a piece of me and bring it very far away. Yes. Hmm. Thank you. Good luck. You got the snowman piece. Wow. And now, yeah. I will eat the snowman piece in front of the snowman. Oh, you eat it? Yeah. <laughs> he wants you to bring it to like a far away place because yeah. he can't move. I just ate it in front of yeah. him. You just consume the part of me I've given you in front of my very eyes. I have no words for you. Yeah. Yeah. That is quite awesome, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I like the humour in it as well. It's very, very, uh, yeah. yeah. Very North funny. Ice, South yeah. ice, west ice, east snowman. Yeah. And ice. Yeah. yeah. Well, there we go, guys. That was a very, very good look at, well, it's the whole tutorial and, uh, you know, a fair bit of the actual game, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So yeah, I think that's given you a good insight on what Undertale runs like on the Vita. Very good. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. What, a, what a doozy, guys. If you like your RPGs with obviously uh, a retro kind of style and uh, some pretty damn good humour, it must be said. Mm -hmm. Josh certainly enjoys it a lot. And yeah. uh, I've learned quite a few things about this game. Now I'm going to have to give it a bloody try myself because, uh, yeah, never played it before, guys, as I said. What a saddle I am, because I've been missing out by the looks of it. There's a sequel to it, it's free. There's a, is a, yeah. ah, a sequel as well. Yeah. What's that actually called? Is it Undertale 2? No, it's Delta Room. Oh, because Delta, I've heard of it, yeah. If you saw at the start, Toriel had this like little picture on the front of like a, a circle with wings and some yeah. like, triangles and that. And that's called like the, the Delta Room, and that's right. what they named it after, oh, the second yeah. part. Right, is it as good as the first one? Uh, yeah, it is. Yeah. It's like the same humor. Oh, same we'll have to do a play on that as well. Yeah, yeah I think it's good. on the Switch for free and PC for free. But oh, that's on, good. Yeah. I think it might be on PS4, I'm not sure, but yeah. I don't think it's on Vita. 
Yeah, no, I won't be on Vita. No, I don't really bring much on unless it's a limited run games. The Vita is really pretty dead in the water, isn't it? Unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fantastic handheld, but yeah, pretty much just abandoned by Sony, of course. Yeah. Oh, there we go, guys. That was a look at Undertale running on the PlayStation Vita, guys. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, what can you say? It's a good one, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah, good. It's a doozy. So, yeah, if you want to give it a try, guys, we can't highly recommend it enough. Yeah. Oh, well, there we go, guys. Another video done. Mm -hmm. uh, so with that, me and Josh are going to say off video saying tschüss and goodbye. And hopefully, if you enjoy the content, you will like, subscribe, and uh, tap that bell icon. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye. Bye.